Hi guys. Hello. Oh, I was having my I was having my coffee and then I was reading my book and then I realized that I should make this video just to share what I'm reading. It might help for some people. I'm I'm not sure about everybody, but some people who might not know nothing the facts about what girls needs to know. So this is only for the girls, okay? And the guys, if you're not agree, and maybe some girls also not agree, but I can't do nothing. I just want to share it. And this book is very good. It says, It's a Girl Things. And then while I'm going through it, I see a chapter number 10, which is very interesting, which I really need to know that, seriously. I'm really bad at that. I really learned that, what I need to know. <clears throat> okay, so chapter number 10 says, if you got a male, if you got a man, what you should do, okay? So there are certain rules that you should know that that if you know those rules, the your man might go into your commitment relationship and he might ask you to marry you or something. I don't know. Let's see what is the, the rules. The rules. Rule number one, never tell a boyfriend about your past sexual history. That means secrets, your secrets. Never tell your boy everything about yours, not about your friend either, right? We girls are so emotionally that we tell every little to your boyfriend and later the relationship doesn't work and then he tells everything to other people and then sometimes it becomes a cause for your breakup relationship too, right? So don't tell. Shh. Rule number two, pretend you love sports. Actually, the man loves to watch the sport channels and everything that sometimes it's okay to sit with him and share with him like, go oh, when you watch the soccer, okay? Pretend. Act helpless. Girls, you are girls, right? So let the man do his job. Let your man feel that he's the man in the house, okay? Act helpless. Number number four. Don't introduce him to your family right away. If you met the guy, just try to have a relationship first. Try to know him first without telling anybody. Try to know that he's friend. Just introduce your friend as he's a friend. Not like you're going to be engaged, you're going to be married with them, and sometimes the relationship doesn't work. You need to move on, right, to other, pe to other guy, and then other guy, other guy, other guy. And then your friends are start counting like one boyfriend, two boyfriend, three boyfriend. Sometimes it's embarrassing yourself, right? Rule number five, don't marry a student. I'm not sure about that, but sometimes I feel that I have a friend, right? So their boyfriend is in the school, college and doing something. And my, I have some boyfriend, their girlfriends are studying. So all they do is wasting money in the study with the night times, wasting time in the study and exams and money and then the couples, the relationship that each couple needed, they can share that relationship, and that's the problem, right? Some couples, not all. Don't look guy for, don't look for a guy in the bar. When you go to the bar, drink, enjoy, and go back home. Don't make any relationship there, cause you might get the guy who drunk. You might get the guy who always hang out in the bar, and when you're in the relationship, it affects, right? And sometimes the guy watch you opposite way. Like, oh, I met this girl in the bar. I don't know what kind of character she is. The guy don't know that he's also in that bar as well. Sometimes we are judged there, okay? So don't. Rule number seven, don't involve with a divorced man who has kids. Sometimes it happens. Sometimes when you have a relationship with a guy who is divorced, all they talk about is their kids and their ex-wife. And they all they care about is their things like oh I have to pick them up or I have to pick them down la, 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 la. and then you're not gonna be happy with that. Rule number eight is avoid men who are in the therapy. Some man, if you go to visit to them, they have a lot of things to carry. They read those kind of scary books. They eat a funny medicines to keep them, so they are not worth to date. Okay. And now, oh I don't know. It says. I'm not sure about that, okay? Don't blame me. It says breast implant. <laughs> breast implant? Don't make a silicone breast or I don't know what, but 
whatever it is. I believe in doing a squat, that's it. So I believe in making my body a fit, healthy body. And then it gives you confidence and it gives you a impressive personality as well. So I recommend go to gym and get fit instead of getting implement or like a booty shot or like plastic bulldogs. I don't know what they're doing and about the makeup as well, right? Trust me, I don't have the makeup right now. Okay. And then most important thing is an inner beauty and your character and your moral you show when you are in a relationship, the understanding, the basic things, right? This is the most important things. And the last, keep the wedding plan low key. Your wedding in a low budget, not in like a brand. Like you spend all the money in the wedding feeding people and then you have nothing to go outside and make your holiday, honeymoon. And